Hey guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, check out my new shirt. Blake sent this to me. So huge shout out to Blake's Aquatics. I pretty much got a fish shirt for every day of the week now. Well actually, I've got more. But anyway, let's get stuck into today's project. So I just knocked off a bottle of my favorite brand, Cola. And uh, we're gonna turn this into a fish trap because when, you guys have got a smudgy mark, have you? Live action guys, camera cleaning without stopping filming. Um, so we're gonna make a fish trap because we need to start culling the fish in the eight foot, but really badly. There's some shitty ones in there already. Oh man, I'm doing it again, standing in the dark. So we're gonna make a fish trap out of this and see if it works. And um, I've probably been working on the motorbike while the fish trap's in there, so I'll be able to keep a close eye on it myself, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, and the motorbike's not working for anybody who's wondering. I put it all back together yesterday. I rode it up and down the backyard. I turned it off and then I started it again the next day and it doesn't work, so. Don't buy a chondo, guys. It's uh, pissing me off. Anyway, let's get stuck into this. All right, so this is one of the more basic DIY projects I've done on the channel. But what we're gonna do is just cut the neck, the top half of the bottle just below where the rib is for the, like the structural integrity, I wanna call it, of that. So like, this has still got the lip, there's like a lip there and that's where the label starts. So I want to keep that lip on the bottle, on the lid, on the lid part. So then this goes in there like that and the fish go in and they can't get out. Now I'm going to take this a little step further. So I'm going to drill some... That's a really blunt drill bit. I'm going to drill some holes in it, just so when it's in the water, it's got multiple ways of getting water into it so it doesn't float. Alright guys, so now we've got the holes drilled in it. There's quite a few holes in it. I'd say probably more than I needed really actually. I put probably 15 holes in it. Um, we need to find a fishing rod because we, after all, we're going fishing for fish. So we want to keep the authenticity of using a fishing rod. Oh, and guys, that's my air pump. I remember last time I tried to show you, I didn't have the light on my camera. But anyway, see what fishing rods we've got here. This one looks good. There's a nice little green one there. Where's the other? Oh. Wait. That one's better. We want the junior. Can you guys even see? I can't actually, I'm not holding the camera very well. There's a screwdriver. Screwdrivers always come in handy. I'm actually quite frustrated I've just found that screwdriver. I spent $9 on a Phillips today because I don't actually own, I, I snapped one the other day and I don't own one because um, anybody who's cabinet maker knows uh, all my screwdrivers for work are posi drive. Yeah, posi drive. So, um, yeah, I basically had to get a Phillips screwdriver to work on the motorbike. But anyway, let's, uh, why I'll rig this trap up and then get back to you. All right, guys, so we're almost set. I just want to find a small little piece of limestone to put inside, which might be a bit harder than I thought. I might have to like break a bit myself, you know. <clears throat> that actually, that's coral, not limestone. <clears throat> this is fish room. This is where we smash rocks. Ah, right. you guys have got rod cam. Um. So now we need to 
I, I want to try cast it. But I, I know that's a really dumb idea. And you know how I know that? Because I'm going to put a rock in it and I'm throwing it at glass. That tells me that it's a bad idea. But I'm going to figure something out. Alright, so we're going to put a bit of uh, cichlid peewee in there. That's probably too much, but it's all good. The only problem is, guys, I lost the lid. Uh, and for those asking the question, did I clean the shed to fit the ply tank in? So I tidied the shed up a little bit, even though it doesn't look like it right now. And I do have the space to fit the six foot, but unfortunately there's a motorbike in the way. I'm getting pissed off with the motorbike. It's detrimental to my YouTube channel. What, a, what, what an annoyance that is. Anyway, so now I've only got one hand. So we'll put it down there. Put this lid in. I kind of think I need a bigger bottle, like a 2 litre. So for those of you who don't know, I haven't actually done this. I haven't actually made one of these before. Um, I always thought that was a bit of a myth. Like I didn't think it would actually work. But Blake seems to be, be sure that it works. He's tried it before. So um, I guess let's find out if he's a liar. Alright, so... We're going to move the lid out of the way. Nah, I don't know. Seems pretty risky. Can you guys see me? Yeah, you can. Um, it's no, it's, I guess it's not even going to be a cast anyway. Because even if I flick it up like that, that's not a cast. So, I think that pipe dream is gone, guys. We're just going to have to uh, put it in there. How's that for a thumbnail? Uh, hopefully you can see the fishing rod. Um, come on, sink buddy, sink. Lucky I've drilled so many holes in, it's actually taking a while. Can you, I'm going to try, oh, there it goes, it's down, alright, so they're trying, they're going, I don't know whether to have it laying down, sorry, I just got to turn the mic around, this is live action guys, mic switches, camera screen switches, all live on camera, um, alright, so, these guys aren't, playing the game. Oh, there's one. We got one. Unfortunately, but the one doesn't look like a cull. So everyone that's sitting inside it right now isn't a cull. Or like inside the cone bit, I mean. Yeah, that's it. Go down. Down the hole. Do I need to lay it down or stand it up, guys? You be the judge. Well, actually, you can't be the judge because this isn't live. But if it, if you like, if you just comment below what you think I should do, and I'll actually see the comments in the past somehow. Oh oh, man, we've only got one. Go, go, go. There's a, there's a cull in there. No. Nah. Maybe because the rock's in there and the food's behind the rock. They're not dumb. They're not going down the shaft. Go down the shaft, guys. It will give you minutes of pleasure. Seconds if you, I guess if you're as young as you guys, you won't get minutes, will you? Oh, there's a cull right there. Come on. Come on, buddy. There's that many fish swarming that you guys can't even actually see the fish, can you? 
I promise there's a cow right there. He's thinking about it. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. There's like a two centimeter. F oh, no, it swam off. I think I'm actually being. I'm not giving it time to settle. Step one walk away, I'm pretty sure. Is that what I gotta do? Man, can you guys see that one there? That's going to be a wicked fish. We actually have to go IBC fishing for a friend too. This IBC is way smarter than that IBC. The fish, I'm telling you. I don't know why. But that IBC, I can throw the net in and I, and I scoop like 20 in one hit. This IBC, I'm getting one at a time. Uh... That one's beaky. Throw it in there. We're not getting any nice fish here. So the problem with this IBC is I filled it with some out of that one that were looking average. Wait. Fish on the ground, fish out of water. I think that's a girl. It's beaky buck. Can you guys see that? That horn there? I'm calling it a horn. Hey, stop jumping. It's got a bit of a nipped tail. Who cares? Let's just keep catching him. Alright, so just a heads up if you don't want to see live feeding, skip the next. 10 to 15 seconds. Just hit double tap, double tap. Ready? See the barrel? Boom. That was a bit of a weak one. It's more exciting when he chases them. All right, so the sun's gone down, as you can see, but the shed light is still on. Um, so the trap decided to uh, work better when I walked away. Look how many is in there. I reckon there's probably 30 in there. The only problem is all the little ones that I want to cull look like they're around here. It's like the bigger, um, more bold, bold the word, like the ones that are more adventurous. And I can't actually see a whole lot of culls in there, but we'll have a look. All right, guys. Found a real it in. Woo! Oh, it's a big one. Alright, so. Uh oh. Ooh. What have we got? What have we got? We got some fish. Come on, in the water. Alright, so one thing I didn't think of the line on the little fishing rod wasn't really strong enough to, uh, lift the bark, the container when it was full of water. So I sort of had to hold it at like a midway point and um, let the water drain a bit. So that all those holes we made were definitely advantageous in this situation. Um, anyway, let's see what we got. All right, so you ready? Pause the video and comment how many are there. You guys are my counters. No, I was just joking. If you want to count, you want to count. All right, so I need I need a Coles tub. I've got a keepers tub. Or maybe I can just throw the keepers back in there. That's the Coles tub then. So all three of them. Keepers. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Coles yet. Keepers. So in this this time around, we're not culling heavily. We're only culling like the the ones with like two dots on their body. 
Sorry guys, this is probably turning into a really long video. I guess it's not just a fish trap video, it's a video on culling. So that, uh, this one here is a cull. See how it's just got a dot on a tail and a dot in the middle of the body? Well, that's not what we want. Um, this one here, it's definitely a runt. I don't think that's going anywhere, so that can be a cull. I think all, th all of them are keepers for now. Um, another cull. Anyway guys, you get the idea. I'll probably do the rest off camera. Alright guys, so we've got our bucket of culls. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I don't want to feed them to the flower horns because I don't want to create aggression with them. Um, I think they. I'm just going to do it off camera, guys. You guys saw one live feed in this. I'm not going to carry on with too many. All right, guys. So the fish trap was deemed a success. Um, I do want to say something quickly about feeding the culls. Um, do not mistake me feeding culls. Um, is different to feeding live feeding um, so the cull I only ever feed culls I never live feed otherwise I don't want I don't see the point in freezing the live culls they're a half decent source of food um, but don't go down and buy Joe Bloggs guppies to feed to your Oscar because the problem with that is you don't know what diseases or anything they carry now I put the flower horns in that eight foot as wrigglers. They weren't even swimming yet. Um, I didn't put a cycle filter in it. I, let, I literally let the tank cycle with the wrigglers in it just because it's so large it didn't matter. Um, no other fish has ever been introduced in there so I'm 99% sure that there's no parasites or anything in there and that's why I can be confident live feeding them. So I'm just saying be safe guys. Don't don't go throwing someone else's fry in your tanks. Um, it'll end bad. Uh, it might come across as though I'm a cruel bastard and I'm like, oh yeah, the feeding fish is fun. Um, I do enjoy it, but not for the reasons you think. I enjoy it. I enjoy the selection process. I don't mind feeding them when they're little, but I do actually have a hard time feeding them once they sort of get to seven or eight centimeters, but the barra still loves any size, so he, he's not fussy. But yeah, um, it does get harder as they get bigger. But anyway, the trap worked a dream. Um, the only thing was there was a lot of bigger ones in there. It didn't catch the little runts that I was mainly trying to get rid of. But there's always next time. I want to make a bigger one because it was clear that the bottle was way too small. So I'll either, uh, actually no, I won't make a bigger one. I'll just put it in every every now and then, you know, um, and just keep doing it. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, hit that little red button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.